It was in Billund in Denmark that Lego was born in the 20s. Close to one century later, the company still manufactures 21 billion of its famous bricks each year. That's to say, 36,000 every minute. Unlike the majority of its European competitors, which have switched production to China, Lego continues to produce 70% of its toys in its Danish factory. High on the list of priorities is the importance of safety. In this laboratory, the toys are systematically tested. Meticulous attention is required for items destined for the hands of three-year-olds. In LEGO, we have, we have made bricks for 50 years, and uh, for us, safety has always been a uh, top priority, and it still is. I'd say from a legislative point of view, what is really changing now is uh, not the mechanical and physical properties as much as it is the, uh, the chemical properties, of course. The changes induced by the European Commission Directive aims to bring up-to-date legislation going back to 1988, which doesn't take into account new technologies or the new substances used for the manufacture of the toys. All toys now manufactured within the EU will soon face a raft of new compliance tests. Some of the test methods are not developed yet. So they may be very expensive, first of all, to develop, and that's a cost that we as an industry has to pay as well. Secondly comes the, the actual test cost once the test method is developed. But the estimate is between a few hundred toy, uh, euros on a simple toy to several thousand euros on a more complicated toy. Lego is in a strong position. It'll be able to adapt to the new regulations. But for some of the toy producers, the manufacturers who account for 80% of the European toy production, realignment will be more painful, particularly for those planning to keep their manufacturing process in Europe. It is a directive that will put uh, quite substantial burdens on the industry. Uh, burdens in terms of additional testing, burdens in terms of in, in additional uh, reporting and, um, and checking procedures. And to many of the companies in the uh, toy industry, it will be uh, quite some undertaking to meet those demands. By offering a transparent legal framework, Euro deputies believe they've taken into account cost concerns within the toy manufacturing sector. Some fear the new rules will be unnecessarily draconian, but most are resistant.